From time immemorial, the realms have been locked in mortal combat. Blood has been shed, and lives taken in an epic battle between darkness and light. Shinnok rebelled against them. He tried to kill his fellow Elder Gods and annihilate the realms. Once defeated, Shinnok was cast out of the heavens. He was stripped of his divine power and imprisoned in the nether realm. Shinnok has plotted his revenge and his return ever since. The realms must now beware, for he has found the means to do both. If you don't like our terms, Baraka, go. Your offer is unacceptable. Tarkata will starve. Better half a loaf than none at all. I am under no obligation to allow your tribe on my land. Your land, Shiva. All lands are Shao Kahn's. Do you forget that he favors my people over yours? Need I remind you why? It's Scorpion from the tournament. Quan Chi's servant. Quan Chi? State your business, Netherrealmer. I am here for the Mask of Drumming.
You are both bold and foolish, Scorpion. No one steals from the Shokan. Only one obstacle remains between Scorpion and Dramin's mask. Shiva, Queen of the Shokan. Scorpion defeats her in an epic battle, then lays hands on the object of his quest. As he grabs the mask, however, he's overwhelmed by its dark power. He's battered by visions of his past, battles with the Lin Kuei, the death of his family and clan, and his rebirth as a Netherrealm Wraith. The emotional onslaught knocks him unconscious. Shiva, now having recovered from combat, eyes Scorpion with disdain. She orders him taken to Shao Kahn. would he have to do that? You are a mere plaything to him. Your life no longer serves his schemes. There's no reason not to end it. now why we still train <sighs> that was a lucky strike let's go again i will show you no kung lao the training you require is mental not physical what do you mean lu kang you cannot surpass your limitations until you acknowledge them Shinnok discerned the importance of Draman's mask and the other relics. 
The Elder Gods went to great lengths to hide knowledge of them from him. We must collect the relics and break them. Doing so will not help. The power they hold, like the Elder Gods themselves, is indestructible. Our only hope is to sequester them in the Temple of the Elements. It would help if we knew what they all are. You got a list? These are the relics we seek. I know where to find them. All right, then. This'll be easy peasy. Several of the relics are in Shao Kahn's possession. Ah, not so peasy. We must divide our forces, recover the relics as quickly as possible. What can the SF do? Augment the Shaolin's defenses at the Temple of the Elements. Once your soldiers are in place, you and Sonya Blade can join the search. Understood. Johnny Cage. Yes, your thunderousness? Both the Sundo Hearthstone and the Crown of Jared are held by Shao Kahn. You and Fujin will travel to Outworld to retrieve them. <sighs> Terrific. I'm telling you, we're gonna be perp-walked into the Colosseum and our heads used for target practice. <laughs> Have faith, Johnny. Our fight isn't over. It isn't? Great. Well, I guess it's showtime. to gawk at the monkeys, princess? Or have you brought us our last meal? If you could remain quiet for one moment, you'd learn that I'm here to help. Why would you help us, princess? I've been having doubts about my father since the tournament. You Earthrealmers were not the devils he portrayed you to be. His pact with Shinnok is the last straw. You must go, now, and quickly. But we cannot leave for Earthrealm without the crown of Jared and the Sundo Hearthstone. Leave the crown to me. The Hearthstone is at Shang Tsung's island. The fastest way there is by ship. Take the mighty Onaga, which is docked at Rain's Cove. Princess, I could kiss you. If you try, you'll find your teeth on the floor.
What's he getting? The usual? No, we need to go to town on him this time. He's pissed way too many people off. What the shit? Get everybody out here, now! I can do this all day. As his soldiers take the Black Dragon Ruffians prisoner, Commander Jackson Briggs smirks with satisfaction. <laughs> it is mission accomplished yet again. Or so he thinks. Without warning, more Black Dragon attack. Led by Aaron Black, they rush in. Guns blazing. Still enraged by the deaths of his comrade, Commander Briggs turns his attention to Frost. She is not the least bit intimidated by Jackson's anger, for she knows something that he does not. The vile purpose for which the factory was built. Frost throws a switch, bringing the factory to life. It soon begins churning out Cyber Lin Kuei. These autonomous warriors, devoid of compassion or mercy, are the ultimate killing machines. Stand behind me. Thank you, all of you. You've blessed us. After the surprise of her easy victory fades, Sonya Blade collects the backpack filled with relics and races for the water's edge. There, she heaves it toward the Sea of Blood's open waters. But just as it is about to splash into the waves and be lost beneath them forever, the backpack is suddenly engulfed by magic. It freezes in midair. As that happens, a portal opens. Through it, step Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. <laughs> Sonya's heart sinks as she realizes that she has indeed been deceived. Zhao Kahn, smug with victory, looms over Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. His queen and his daughter look on in admiration. 
With two mighty swings of his hammer, Shao Kahn finishes the sorcerers, crushing their heads against the soul chamber's floor. Suddenly, reality shivers. Candle flames flicker and dance. The sorcerers' corpses begin dissolving into mist. As they do, Shang Tsung and Quan Chi materialize in the chamber. Eyeing the arrogant smirks on both the sorcerers' faces, Shao Kahn realizes that he has been played for a fool. Please, you must defend us! Shang Tsung and Quan Chi may have already transformed themselves into Elder Gods! Mortals are no threat, Raiden. None can channel our power. If Shinnok could not topple us, how could they? It was only the most fortuitous of circumstances that kept me from victory. Your good fortune has only fed your arrogance. we left behind have failed to stop the sorcerers. The Elder Gods are finished, but we are not. We must go, if we are to continue this battle. May the Elder Gods forgive me. <laughs> All things come to he who waits, and I have waited so very long. I am Shinnok. I am an elder god. I am the Elder God! I will rip the flesh from his bones!
not bother, sorcerers. You will not rise again. Belioka. Beliongi. Shanto. your power, but it seems we still have your immortality. <laughs> if you cannot be killed, then you will be trapped for eternity. Shinnok unleashes his amulet's dark energies, expecting to vaporize the sorcerers as he had me. But in his arrogance, it never occurs to him that his earlier attempt on my life had not succeeded. As his vile magic bursts forth from the amulet, it stops short of the sorcerers. Rather than kill them, it begins to assume my shape. I materialize between Shinnok and the sorcerers. My attire and my demeanor have become grim, both infected by the evil I absorbed while trapped in Shinnok's amulet. Again, Shinnok, I will relieve you of your power. You may be eternal. But you are not invulnerable. As Shang Tsung had once suggested, I will toss it into the Sea of Blood. Shinnok's power will be lost to the realms forever. But though this battle is over, we cannot rest. We must remain vigilant against new threats to the realms. For there is only one constant in the universe, and that is combat. <laughs>